Hello, my name is Brandon Enright, and I'm going to demonstrate slash reverse engineer slash discuss um, a triangle sequence posted by Virgo of the Twisty Puzzles forum for the Rexpo Dihedron. I'm using Gelatin Brains 1.2.3, which is um, the same as Eric Virgo's pentagram, um, as a stand-in for the Rexpo Dihedron. This puzzle does not have the edges, and it does have corners, but uh, it's a perfect stand-in anyways because we're only interested in these points, which are the same points as the small triangles on the rexpodecahedron. So, Virgo posted in the solving thread that his center three cycle is this sequence. And if you look at the notation that Conran proposed for uh, the rexpodecahedron, this sequence, FL, UR, UFL, these correspond to this corner, this corner, and this corner. So let me show you Virgo's sequence on the rexodecahedron. It goes like this. Okay, and then you do all of that over. And the end result is a three cycle of these points. It was 20 moves. Um, and you can ignore the fact that it also three cycled and twisted some corners because the corners are not on the rexodecahedron. So it, the net effect is that it, it's a pure three cycle of these three triangles. Now, that's a relatively complicated sequence. If you look at it, it's not in any sort of standard commutator form. Um, it's a sequence that's performed twice, and it does have nice properties. It, it is relatively easy to set up. You can set up this triangle completely in isolation. You can set up this triangle completely in isolation. You can set up this triangle a couple of different ways. So it does have some flexibility, um, so it is relatively nice. I want to talk a little bit about how it works, though, considering it's not a standard commutator form. So. Let me show it to you again. It, you, this is a setup move, and then you perform a 1 1 commutator, which is this one right here. And then you undo your setup move, and then you perform the 1 1 commutator again. Okay, and then you repeat all of that twice, or you repeat it all again, excuse me. Okay, there is the move. So let me discuss how this works. Um, I'm going to show it to you in a slightly different order. So here's the 1-1 one, one commutator, which is really the workhorse of the sequence. Notice this 1-1 one, one commutator does a three cycle of these points like we want, but it has all of this extra stuff, um, all of this extra stuff that we don't really want um, included in the cycle. So what Burgo did is he added a setup move like this to move all of that extra stuff out of the way. So here, here's the setup move. And then he does this 1-1 one, one commutator. And then he undoes the setup move. Um, and that moves all of this stuff out of the way. And if you do the 1-1 one, one commutator again without the setup move, something interesting happens. Let me show it to you. What it's done is it has done the three cycle of the points that we want, but it also did a 2-2 swap. Um, so it does a swap of this pink, this pink group of stuff with this white group and this green group with this light blue group. And since it does a 3 cycle and a 2-2 swap, if you perform that sequence twice, the 2-2 swap will cancel and it'll leave just a 3 cycle. So let's perform it twice. Okay. Notice now all we're left with is a 2-2 swap or look, excuse me, a three cycle of these three groups right here. And then if you perform the commutator one last time, those three groups get cycled back and it just leaves a, a three cycle remaining. This is a pretty complicated construction. I'm, I'm surprised Burgo came up with something uh, this complicated um, when I think that there's a more elegant way to handle this. But uh, let me show that again. Um, so 
the, the magic is that there is a simple three cycle that you can turn into a C2 swap by doing something like that. Um, and, and so you can do the three cycle that you want plus a, a two two swap of, of a couple different of, of these groups. Um, and then because the two two swap it has order two and the three cycle has order three, if you apply the whole thing twice, then the two two swap cancels and all you're left with is just a, a three cycle. So let me show you Virgo's sequence one last time and then I'll discuss how you could do it more efficiently. So here's Virgo's sequence. again to cancel the 2-2 swap. Alright, so again it's 20 moves and it performs this 3 cycle. So is there a way that we could perform this 3 cycle more directly so that we don't have to cancel a 2-2 swap um, and so that we don't have to spend 20 moves and, and instead you know spend fewer moves? And so the answer, of course, is yes. And here's how to do it. So we want to create a three cycle that involves these three pieces. Now we see that the teal or the light blue that was right here goes to right there. So we need to find a way to get this triangle to that spot in as few moves as possible. And then for the rest of the commutator, then, commutator, then we need to figure out how to get this spot to that spot. So there's the one move for that. Um, and we have to do it in a way that it won't affect any other pieces on the puzzle. So, how do we get this teal, or this light blue, excuse me, to that spot? Um, it's pretty simple. Okay, the light blue is right there. Now we want to get this white spot to that spot. And the problem is, is that it's going to move all of this stuff right over here. So we need to use a little setup move. Now we're going to undo the X part, so we're going to put this back here. Oops, wrong move. Okay, and then we need to undo the Y part. And there we go. We did the exact same three cycle in the same direction, and we only spent 12 moves on it. We, we did it directly via commutator. Let me show you that to you again. I'm going to show it to you so that it's a little bit easier to see. So again, we need to put the light blue right there. So the easiest way to do that is like this, three moves. Then we need to put the white spot right there. And if we do that, we'll move all of this stuff, and we don't want to do that. So we use a setup move, and then we undo our setup move. Now we undo the, the X portion of the commutator. Okay, now we're going to undo the Y portion of the commutator. There we go. 12 move, it's a 3-3 a three, three, um, three, three commutator, so the X portion is 3 moves, the Y portion is 3 moves. You do X, you do Y, you undo X, you undo Y, and you get a commutator of the same effect, in the same shape, and only 12 moves, and it is, I believe, significantly easier to understand than doing the 2-2 two, two swap and canceling it by performing the whole sequence twice. So if you like this particular pattern for the 3 cycle, for solving the rest of the decahedron, I recommend that you use a direct commutator, which is only 12 moves instead of 20, and I think it's a little bit easier to understand. But um, go ahead and use whatever you're most comfortable with, uh, but this is how I would do it. Thanks for watching.